His Excellency, distinguished guests, it's my great honor to be here to talk about the cooperation between our country, Thailand, and China, especially on the uh, space uh, cooperation, which I have been involved for uh, more than six years. If nothing changed, I will still continue another three years at least. Our cooperation on this uh, space, uh, I will divide it into two parts. First is multilateral cooperation, which we start uh, officially since the year 2005, uh, when uh, Thailand and China are among the initiator of the multilateral cooperation a platform of uh, EPSCO, the Asia Pacific Space Cooperation Organization. The uh, a formal establishment of EPSCO uh, happened in the year 2008, when uh, we have eight member states signed. And, um, and after that, uh, we have a, a, a great improvement, and now uh, EPSCO is an intergovernmental organization with the full legal status uh, registered under the Charter of United Nations. And uh, we have the uh, big headquarter in uh, Feng Tai, uh, in China. We have uh, work with, uh, right now, uh, we have uh, 11 members which in the different uh, categories, a full member, the observer, and the associated member. Okay, it's so, a uh, multilateral uh, cooperation in a sp space uh, seems to be very suitable for the Asia-Pacific area in particular because Asia-Pacific is uh, govern governing the, the large geographical area, and uh, there are more than 60% of the population, world population living here. Most of them are uh, developing country. And unfortunately, this area also very prone to natural uh, disaster, every kind of disaster, which uh, space technology can very much uh, help uh, to solve the problem, and also a uh, very powerful driving force for socioeconomic uh, development of the developing country in the Asia Pacific. Unfortunately, uh, investment in space is uh, require very high uh, investment, high risk, and high technology. So it's not uh, affordable for uh, many uh, countries in this area. So the idea of working together in a multilateral uh, platform is seen to be ideal. Okay, I, I will give some example uh, how we work together. Uh, basically, we have the, a key st one of the key strategies uh, to work together is to pull up uh, the resources and share uh, the outcome amongst our uh, members. So this is one of the, the key strategy. I uh, will give this uh, very excellent example on the we call SMMS uh, constellation program, the small multi-mission satellite constellation, which is uh, the sharing, uh, comprehensive sharing from the space segment down to the ground segment. The space segment. Um, uh, uh, basically, we, 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 we are planning for serving the uh, Earth observation data uh, in, in a sustainable way, just to make sure that the member states have the data uh, available when they need, especially in the case of uh, emergency or disaster. And uh, the satellites there is very important, play the, the important role. Uh, luckily, we have our host country, China, uh, donate uh, three satellites uh, to join this, uh, we call virtual constellation the Kaofeng 1, Kaofeng 2, or Seabird 4. And in the, in the plan, we also invite the uh, satellites from other member states. Uh, from Peru, they have a very high uh, resolution uh, satellite from Turkey, from Pakistan. And also our uh, Thai Earth Observation Satellite, Kios, also show a willingness to join this uh, constellation. And then we can share. And we also uh, share the facility on the ground uh, we link the crowd together that will uh, very much enhance the performance of the, uh, the system because if you have a, a lot of the space assets but you have very limited crowd that uh, will uh, allow, not allow you to use the highest potential uh, of your system. Uh, with that, we have the, the sharing platform. This is also play the central role in the dissemination of the data to the member states. So we have the data sharing platform equipped with the uh, tools and data analysis uh, software for the member states to readily use. So this is one of the flagship uh, project uh, of EBSCO. Uh, another one that I would like to, to share, this is a very good example of how to, how to uh, 
use the, the vast geographical coverage area of the Asia Pacific. Because even though you are a very rich country, but some uh, projects, you, uh, it would not be so uh, useful if you put all the uh, equipment in uh, virtually one, one place. But distribution of the equipment around the globe will give you a, a global or even universal perspective. For example, this uh, project, the Eposos, we put the, the optical uh, uh, telescope in our member state to attract the space debris and the space debris and also the active uh, satellite uh, in the space and we, uh, we, we keep the record, we uh, catalog and also we have the service to uh, the warning uh, when there are some a potential uh, a dangerous space debris come too close to your space asset. So uh, we have already finished the first phase of the program where only uh, limited uh, facility put in three countries with a small telescope. But in the second phase, we put a, a much bigger a telescope in every country, including Thailand. So this time, this telescope will be uh, 60 centimeters, which is uh, big enough uh, to see the uh, objects in the, we call low Earth orbit, in me, uh, medium Earth orbit, or in uh, geosynchronous orbit that about 40,000 kilometers away, or even the near Earth uh, objects to, to uh, uh, asteroid that they have a potential uh, hazard to the Earth. And uh, this is uh, one of the uh, flagship uh, projects among the member states uh, from Thailand, Anarit National uh, Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand is the participant to, to this project. Again, I, I try to point out how uh, the multilateral cooperation can enhance the, uh, the work in the space. This is a, the project to study atmosphere and earthquake among the EBSCO member state. So the system comprises of both uh, space-based and ground-based equipment. On the ground base, it's easy to install. So we have uh, hundreds of uh, uh, nodes of the observation, uh, mainly in China and also in other member states, like in Thailand, uh, we have the uh, receiver uh, installed in Chula Pond uh, receiving station in Kasesa University, mainly to uh, study the TEC total electron content and uh, scintillation uh, parameter for the GNSS signal. It's uh, installed for quite uh, some time. And also, I want to show that also the uh, magnetometer will be installed in the uh, King Mukut Institute of Lakabang in uh, Prince Chumpon campus. We signed a contract last year, and you can see the background. The, not only the palm tree, but also the antenna to uh, send the signal to the uh, space and receive the uh, re uh, reflection and study the ionosphere and also the uh, layer of the Earth. So also we are very lucky to have the a CACA satellite, the China Seis Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite that has been launched by China recently. This is one of the most sophisticated satellite in the kind in the world. And, and we are lucky enough for the host country, China, to share the data of the satellite to our member state through the platform we call the SOAP platform, the uh, Seismic Ionospheric Observation Application Platform. So all member states, including Thailand, can uh, receive data. And uh, in the platform, we also provide the analysis tool, uh, uh, linking a fusion of the information, both cloud-based and space-based in many uh, dimensions, many, many aspects, and uh, hopefully we can uh, see or even predict the event of earthquake to uh, prevent the loss of life and uh, property. As I show you there, uh, there's a recent earthquake in uh, Myanmar, and uh, you see there are many par parameters react or even a warning uh, if as some precursor to, to that event. So if, if uh, um, a moral algorithm to study these things, this will be very a uh, useful outcome, not only for the EBSCO, but also the world as a whole. Okay, I, I mentioned that uh, we are really lucky to have China uh, as the host country, because uh, amongst uh, EBSCO uh, member, uh, China is the only uh, space firing country, and the uh, achievement and the progress in the space side of China is so fantastic as you uh, follow the news recently. So this gives us a very unique opportunity uh, in the space. First thing is uh, for space resource infrastructure sharing. 
um, especially about the, the launch uh, vehicle, because in the world, not so many countries possess uh, the launch uh, facility. If you be, many countries can build satellite, but uh, so many countries can, can uh, build uh, the launcher. So, uh, so far, uh, we have a very uh, kind uh, offer from uh, China, especially for the, uh, the satellite that relating to education, as I, uh, I mentioned uh, later. And also, knowledge, knowledge, know-how, and the best practices from the host country. Uh, regularly, we, we exchange the expert between China and the member state and have a training to, to share uh, the knowledge uh, on its best. And uh, very important, the, the opportunity to participate in I call rare mission. Because, uh, for example, uh, recently uh, China uh, had the lunar return sample from the Chang'e mission and um, uh, open for international cooperation to study uh, this a return sample, including uh, open for our member state uh, from uh, EBSCO. So right now, EBSCO is forming the joint research group to study the uh, return sample from uh, the moon. And uh, just yesterday, uh, China have uh, docked the uh, Tianzhou uh, cargo uh, module to the uh, Tiangong uh, space station. I'm sure that in the future, uh, um, it's also possible for the host country to, to share uh, the space station for uh, scientific uh, experiments in the space. And uh, just two weeks ago, the uh, Tianwen mission has uh, landed on Mara, and the Jurong uh, rover is now working on uh, geographical uh, analysis of the Mars. So that's the, uh, all the achievement that give us a very exceptional opportunity to, to get involved with this almost uh, impossible in, <laughs> for our uh, current situation to have developed this kind of uh, mission by our own, but uh, with the kind offer from the host country. Uh, EBSCO also uh, pursuing the education uh, in aerospace field, uh, cooperation with the China uh, uh, Scholarship Council to provide free uh, support about of 45 uh, students per year, both a master degree and a PhD degree, to the three top universities in China, Beihang University, Harbin Institute of Technology, HIT, and uh, uh, NPU in Xi'an. So this is a, uh, a very top uh, aerospace school in China. And uh, so far, we have recruited 215 masters, 62 PhD among that, uh, 26 master. 14 PhD from Thailand. Uh, right now, many of them are pay, playing the uh, leading role uh, in uh, space uh, developing in, in their country. Also participate in a uh, uh, very uh, important uh, project. It's hands-on uh, training project. Uh, it's intended to, to let the students and professor and the researcher to work on the real platform. It's called TRIPNS, SSS, the Student Small Satellite Project. In the system, there will be three satellites uh, built by the uh, uh, students and pr their professor, uh, developing the first one uh, developed by, uh, uh, leading by Paihang University and uh, university from Iran, from Pakistan, participate in this. It's kind of a CubeSat, 3U CubeSat. Uh, this one leading by uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong University in Shanghai. And uh, Pakistan, Iran also joined that one. The third one, uh, this is, uh, uh, the S 2 b joint developed by uh, Thailand and uh, Turkey. So right now, the, the satellites already uh, completed. They are under the test, the final test, because they're waiting for the next launch opportunity in, in October. Uh, again, uh, the host country, China, provide free launch for this uh, education uh, uh, space mission. Okay, that's, I, I talk about the multilateral uh, cooperation uh, between China and Thailand through the Asia Pacific Space Cooperation Organization platform. We can see that uh, there are many potential uh, cooperation and projects in uh, space science, space technology, space development, space application. 
uh, under this uh, platform, and we have uh, done uh, quite good so far, and with uh, participation from uh, many university organizations in Thailand, not, not only uh, uh, Jisda, Narit, but uh, from the CESAR University, KMT, NRL KMT, and Chiang Mai University, uh, the Royal Forest Departments, the Thailand Meteorological Departments, uh, involved in the projects both as a participant and the, uh, even the project initiator themselves. There are many projects initiated by Thailand. So on the bilateral cooperation, we also have a long history, especially uh, between the university and research institutes on the space uh, field. Uh, for example, Wuhan University also have the cooperation with uh, JIDA under the Srinthorn Center for Geoinformatics uh, Research uh, located in uh, Siracha, Chunri province. And uh, last week, I just visited the NSSC, the National uh, Space Science Center in China have the close cooperation with uh, NARIT on the study of the space weather. They also have already that, have that uh, cooperation. And um, this one I show here, this is very uh, important cooperation between uh, Changshun Institute of Optics, Biomechanics, and Physics, which is one of the top uh, institutions uh, in China. Uh, cooperation with the Thai Space Consortium, which is the consortium cooperation uh, amongst the uh, organization in the Ministry of Higher Education, uh, uh, Science, Research, and Innovation, such as JISDA, NARIT, uh, Synchrotron Light Research Institute, and other university form, uh, form up the team as a consortium to work on this uh, uh, remote sensing satellite. It's going to be uh, quite a high accuracy, maybe one meter ground sampling uh, of the image. Uh, with the joint development with uh, Changshun Institute, and uh, also the capacity building, the technology also uh, technology transfer also included in the, the contact. If there is no uh, COVID pandemic, this young engineer team is supposed to be here in Changshun uh, at this time, but unfortunately the pandemic stopped them. So this is uh, I would I would call it's a the new chapter of the cooperation between Thailand and China in the aerospace, because uh, we have been cooperating with uh, the West. I myself uh, was in UK uh, many years ago to have the technical transfer and build a small satellites uh, at uh, Surrey University. And uh, recently, we also sent the team to Surrey and uh, also to uh, France for the TOS project. This is the first time that we have the, this kind of uh, technical transfer in this, in this uh, high tech and. Uh, usually not easy to, to have the technical transfer between the, the two countries. I call this is the, the new chapter of the cooperation, and I'm pretty sure that in the future we will see more and more cooperation between uh, Thailand and uh, China, and also not in, only in the uh, uh, aerospace, but also in other uh, science and technology. So thank you very much. That's all.